Hello, my name is Jennifer Justice. For my interview assignment, I met with Liz Weir, the Dixon Librarian at the Jean Outland Chrysler Library. The Jean Outland Chrysler Library is a special library affiliated with the Chrysler Museum of Art in Norfolk, Virginia. I contacted Liz because she is employed at what I consider a dream location. I have an undergraduate degree in history and art history, and I hope to work in a special library in a museum or archival setting upon the completion of my master's degree. I enjoyed speaking with Liz and I learned a lot about her role and responsibilities. We discussed everything from how she found herself as the head librarian in the midst of the pandemic to some exciting projects she has coming up at the museum and at the library and how she sees her role changing in the future. Liz actually worked for the Chrysler Museum for about 13 and a half years. During that time, she went back to graduate school for her master's degree in library science and started as a library assistant at the Jean Outland Chrysler Library. It was from that position that she was asked in 2020 to become the interim librarian, and that's where she is now. I asked her about her library and collections, and the Jean Outland Chrysler Library has over 300,000 volumes. There's some very fascinating things that we were talking about there. Uh, there's exhibition catalogs from art museums all over the world. There are auction and expedition catalogs from the 19th century. The archives of the Chrysler Museum Institution itself and historic homes managed by the Chrysler Museum are housed there. And there's a rare book room, which sounds very exciting, doesn't it? With a copy of the Quran from the year 1217, which makes it the oldest book in the collection. The library is mainly used by staff and professionals conducting research and is a non-circulating library. There is a reading room open to the general public where they uh, peruse the collection and conduct research on site. Liz's time is split between two locations. Uh, she works at the ODU campus and the Chrysler Museum. On her days at the university, she conducts and assists with research, cleans and organizes, performs maintenance on the collection, and uh, basically gets things situated over there for the museum library. On her days based at the library, she catalogs, assists staff check out books, and interacts with the, pub with the public Excuse me, in the reading room. She assumed the position of the Dixon Librarian during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. During that time, the reading room was closed, so she was able to use that time wisely to acclimate herself to her new role and responsibility. She reorganized at the museum. She did thorough cleanings at both work locations. And uh, it, more importantly, she updated technology. She was telling me that some of the technology she inherited with the library um, dated to the 1990s. So she knew that she had to get the library undergoing a bit of a 21st century makeover. Uh, some of these technology advances she anticipates will be really beneficial for the library, of course, uh, such as digitizing their archives and integrating new technologies for cataloging, which she's looking forward to both of those. Having worked under the previous librarian prior to her departure, Liz really had a great advantage when she was promoted to her role. She was already familiar, familiar with the skills required, but she was surprised by the workload that fell to her. Um, she wears many hats and stays very busy. She catalogs, archives, does some conservation work, conducts book care and maintenance, and handles personnel and finance issues. Uh, her advice to someone interested in a role like hers is to be willing to learn how to do many things like that and to make yourself adaptable. Uh, because in a special library environment, there's usually only a staff of one or two librarians. So making yourself as um, skilled and versatile as, versatile as possible is helpful. Um, as for special skills that may help, 
She said that fluency in a European language, such as French, Italian, Spanish, or German, is particularly helpful in an art museum library since many of the primary resources were written in those languages. So that particularly inspired me to keep up with my Duolingo French lessons. So we'll see if I can keep that going. Um, and she also said some knowledge of archival procedures is needed. Uh, I asked about what role community outreach plays in a private library setting like hers. And it's mostly through partnerships with the museum's education department that the library is able to engage with the community. There are family nights and programs such as Art Out Loud. She also is planning on in the next year reaching out to more museums and libraries to um, build partnerships with them. Um, part of her duties involving partnering is with museum staff while they research and find resources for upcoming programs and initiatives. Uh, she gets to lend a hand there. In the works is an exhibit entitled Building a Legacy, honoring the 50th anniversary of the generous gifts of Walter Chrysler. Uh, the Jean Outland Chrysler Library is an essential source of information for that because it houses the Chrysler Building Archives. After that is an M.C. Escher exhibit coming up, which she's really excited about because she thinks it could inspire some exciting programming for school groups. Uh, we wrapped up. We discussed her adorable dog that crashed at the interview, and she said she's truly grateful to be at her dream job and to hang in there through grad school because it is worth it. So I was really encouraged by her words of wisdom, and I sent her a thank you card and plan to visit the reading room soon to continue our chat in person. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the interview because I certainly enjoyed conducting it.